exciting day today because I haven't been flying nearly enough. It's my last chance to fly the plane before it goes in for its annual. Again, my God, that comes around fast. And I have got the plane and flyable weather and an old mate and 48 hours. And I don't know where we're gonna end up today. Um, we're gonna see, but I mean, we're in Devon. We might end up in East Anglia. We might end up in Wales, North Wales, maybe even the borders. I don't know. We're gonna see. We wanna we want to get some distance. So uh, yeah, exciting. Doesn't happen enough. Properly cold. We've got no idea where we're going, but we've got lots of camping gear. It's one of those times when you think, should I take everything out and pack it properly or just do a bit of a rush job and hope it goes okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bit of a rush job. Okay. Yeah. You're allowed to land on beaches. Yeah. Like any beach. It's so funny, in England, all the pilots are like, oh no, 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 I mean, you can't know, there's all kinds of problems, there's sand and salt and this, that. no, it's just, it's never. Go to America. America. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, see you on the beach this afternoon, Pritnick? Yeah, you, any Americans watching this? You got no idea how how good you guys have it. The health and safety police in England just won't let you do anything. That's very. You actually got a pillow. That's extremely organised. And I'm already I'm already jealous. So now a flight plan. Right, we've got some high ground, so just, first thing I always do is go for the warnings. So, minimum safe altitude, 3,200 3, feet. That's fine, let's just say yes to that. Um, and we'll be going, there's a danger area which looks as though it's not active today. Um, we will need to get a clearance to go through Cardiff, Cardiff airspace. Mm -hmm. In fact, because, it, yeah, I'm just going to go slightly through there. Yeah, to minimize. So actually, depending on what the cloud base allows us to do, the higher over the water, the better. I mean, that actually makes more sense. But yeah, especially on a cold day, for some reason on a really cold day, even less exciting the idea of ending up in the water. <laughs> Madly hurter. Okay, so that's, I can't go over that, go around that. Over Hereford. I'm planning, what I want to do is I want to fly as high as we can yeah. as allowed by the cloud base. I'm, I'm guessing that's a 5,000 foot cloud base today, at a guess. Mm -hmm. So let's put in 150 or 500 feet. Uh, no, I'll put in 4,500 feet, because that will tell us more about any issues we've got. Okay, and we will need a service from Bristol. So, so the thing you have to do is you have to do what's called threat and error management, mm -hmm. which is you look at all of the risks along the route. So mm -hmm. the first one I always look at because of all my airspace infringements. How many? Have you had no three? Have you? Yeah. Is it four strikes and you're out? No, there's, there's no there's no such system. But no. I don't want another one. <laughs> no. I don't want another one. Um, so looking <laughs> at this route, there's no airspace risk until we get to Bristol, but we'll be talking to Bristol and have a service from them one way or the other, so that's no problem. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So once we're clear of Bristol, um, there's some high terrain to be aware of. Mm -hmm. uh, although we'll be, we'll be flying... 3-2 the, that's the safe height for the whole route? Yes. Yeah. The minimum safe altitude for the whole route had we just gone direct. That's okay. now changed. Okay. So the minimum safe altitude is now 2,500. Now, Shawbury Zone, so that's a military one. So the blue area is a, is what's called the MATS, a military aerodrome traffic zone. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so you would normally need permission to transit that, or to penetrate it, to, get into uh, to go into sleep. But today it's closed, so they're saying, don't need to talk to them. Uh, so we don't need that. So there's no airspace. I cannot go into the ATZ, the red bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Shawbury Road, ATZ, but and I can't go to sleep without being on the radio to them first. And when we do go in there, we have to then give a reporting point as we enter. Okay, so, so 275 meter level. Uh, Shall we radio, uh, sorry, sleep radio. One, two, two, five. We're gonna take off Dunker's well, runway zero four, and our initial heading will be zero three zero, so almost straight out of the runway. 
So we're taking off straight out, uh, and we're going to climb to 4,500 feet or cloud base, whatever mm -hmm. they're emitting. They have a listening squawk that will be talking to them for transit, so it might be the listening squawk. So the listening squawk is, is so you're listening to them, mm -hmm. you don't talk to them, you don't register with them, but you squawk that so that they know that you're listening to them, they know that you're on their frequency. Mm -hmm. It saves the need for having to have a chat. Cool, okay. Um, so, I've worked out my own really simple PPP check for everything. Plane, pilot, plan. Is the plane right? It is. All checked over. Uh, we've got two hours of fuel on board. It's a one hour flight. And we've got easy alternatives if there's a problem. Mm -hmm. right. um, checks complete. So that's all good to go. Uh, pilot. I'm safe check. So illness, I'm not ill. Medication, not on any. Uh, sleep and stress. I have had enough sleep. I'm under moderate stress, but I'm feeling okay today. Um, alcohol, uh, zero factor. I had one beer yesterday. Food, I have had a good meal this morning. And the plan. So, we are taking off runway 04 from Dunk as well. We're landing uh, at runway 36, left hand. Um, the weather, this is where Sky is amazing. So, first of all, you just spin down the whole lot and see if there's any ye yellow or red M's or I's. It's showing VFR along our whole route. Um, extra, so with, with the conditions here, if I've taken off, so Yeovilton, overcast at 5,400 feet. Um, so I think they did that Cardiff, Sky Clear. Um, that's the Meta, which is now, and the TAF is forecast, so they're forecasting scattered 2,800 feet, occasional gusty winds and light showers uh, between noon and 5 o'clock, so we'll be past them for them. Bristol, similar weather, so overcast 4,500 feet at the moment, so that's the plan. So, uh, And the plan has three parts, which is your, your departure, your arrival and the en route.
instruments I've all checked and done. Flaps. Mixture prop fuel. 200 lining up for immediate takeoff from runway 04. Okay, let's just uh, do full power first. Keep that down a little bit. Waiting for 40 knots. And lift the nose wheel. And it will just fly off on its own. Yeah. Now I'm going to trim forward quickly, otherwise it just, look how it climbs. It's just no, no back pressure whatsoever and it just climbs like a homesick angel, is the Yeah, lovely. And manifold pressure back to 24 and RPM back to 24 as well. Flaps up. Oh, you can really feel the extra performance when the air is cold. So, flaps away. Decision calling, sorry, was that November 1320 Sierra? Hey, sir, November 1320 Sierra. Oh, did you just stand by? Crystal run a three mic triangle destination, Golf 1817 on heading 290. It's that fast they all talk. The pros. Hello! November! Right, okay, Golf, send you up. Shoot 5,000 feet. You send out two Just what they need. Golf busy. Golf. Same with the case guard. Can I get a radio check, please? November 1320, sorry, I'll call you back in a couple of minutes, I'm just a bit busy at the moment. Right, easy 6, 8, 8, 3, Tango, contact the tower, 133, decimal 8, 5, 0, bank. Tower 1385, easy 6, 8, 3, Tango, bank. Run a 3, Mike, Tango, descend flight level uh, 100. Descend flight level 100. I haven't heard of this busy in ages. Don't stop it. I think the higher we are, the better our chances. More separation we've got. November 1320, sir. Expect transit not above 2,000 feet. Expect not above 2,000. That's completely not what I expected. Right, now, three mic tango to send uh, to altitude 6,000 feet. Q &A. Not what I expected. Please send altitude 6,000 feet. Q &A. That's the first time I've ever had an expect. Communication from ATC. Really? Yeah. Never happened. They, they did it in America all the time. Uh, I think they Delta Alpha. Turn right, heading 180. They did them on IFR clearances a lot. November 1320 Sierra, contact the tower 133 decimal 850. 133850 to 200 Sierra. Right, 3 my tank. It's going to take you north uh, for a little bit. Uh, the traffic in front, you need to fear it. Golden Point Golf X ray runway 09 QH 1018. Golf X-ray 09, QH 1018, Easy 76, Mother Quebec. Bristol Tower, November 1320 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra, Bristol uh, Tower, hello. Clear to enter controlled airspace via Cheddar, not with altitude 2,000 feet uh, VFR. A route to hold uh, three miles to the southwest of the field, uh, just to report approaching Cheddar. Project cleared, uh, not about 2,000 feet via Cheddar, report. Uh, repeat, how many miles southwest of the field? Uh, November 1320 Sierra, just uh, route to hold at uh, Churchill and report Churchill. Route to hold Churchill, report Churchill, November 20 Sierra, not above 2,000 feet, VFR. Hey, fam. Okay, Jesus. It's going to be low to the ground, there's high ground there. Yeah, yeah. interesting clearance. Right, I'm going to turn the, um... No, I'll keep the heading on. Thermals. November 1320 Sierra, traffic in A320, 8 miles for runway 09. Roger, traffic to 0 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra, you can continue towards the uh, overhead. Uh, position yourself one mile south of the field until that uh, traffic is landed, then we'll get you through. Continue to overhead position one mile south until traffic's passed to 0 Sierra, thank you. Right. Bristol Tower, good afternoon, easy 2 1 Delta Alpha. He's 2 one Delta Alpha, Bristol Tower, hello, number one, continue approach, one departing ahead. Cool. Traffic, so I take, uh, see the airport? Yeah. 182, sorry, uh, routing from the southwest, currently five miles to the southwest, to hold one mile to the south of the field. Copy traffic information, continue approach, easy 2 one Delta Alpha. Right, so that's my hold position there. Must go north of that position. Because they're waiting, so waiting for this plane here to come in and land? Yeah. You just 
to see it there. Yeah. Coming on the left of the screen. Okay. Approved uh, tweet with you right now, 76 Victor Zulu. November 1320 Sierra. Uh, previously mentioned A320 traffic is at three miles. Report that traffic in sight. Report, uh, visual now, 200 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra, after that uh, traffic is landed, we'll get you through the overhead. Roger that, if it's okay with you, can I begin an orbit to the right now? A firm, uh, commence uh, right hand orbit. Right hand orbit, 200 Sierra. Golf Sierra Romeo Oscar Yankee, ready for departure. Golf Sierra Romeo Oscar Yankee, Roger, hold position. Hold position, Golf Sierra Romeo Oscar Yankee. Fun, fun, fun! Is that a challenge? I started my turn, I felt this poof up to us, and it just got to stay below 2,000 feet. So basically, they're happy for us to cross as soon as it's landed. And it's just on a short final now, so I can, we can tighten up our turn a bit. Ooh, drifted up to 2,000 feet. November 1320, Sierra, best speed now. If you take a northerly track overhead, the 09 numbers uh, passing through the uh, overhead, just report when you're north of the center line. Best speed via zero 09 numbers to the north, 200 will report overhead. That's hurry the fuck up. Right. Bristol Tower, Ryan S3, Mike Tango, in front of the Asterix, when we do a night. Ryan S3, Mike Tango, Bristol Tower, hello, number one, continue approach, traffic assessor 182, uh, just uh, transiting through, uh, through the overhead, the uh, zero 09 numbers, currently uh, one to the south of the field. Continue approach number one, copy traffic, run S3, Mike Tango. Easy 2 one Delta Alpha, vacate left via Bravo, taxi stand 6. Left at Bravo, stand 6, Easy 2 one Delta Alpha. November 1320, Sierra, traffic 738 at 6.5 miles. Copy traffic, I should be well clear, 2 0 Ryan Air 3, uh, Mike Tango, previously mentioned that Cessna is now uh, north of the field, continuing northbound. Surface wind 0, 05, 0 degrees, 9 knots, runway 09, clear to land. Runway 09, clear to land, Ryan Air 3, Mike Tango. Yeah, 200 north of the runway and requesting a, a possible climb up to 3,000 feet. November 1320 Sierra, roger, I'll, I'll call you back very shortly. November 1320 Sierra, continue your own navigation uh, to the north and uh, you, can, you can continue, not above altitude, 3,000 feet VFR. Continue to the north, not above 3,000 feet VFR, November 200, thank you. November 1320 Sierra, contact Bristol Radar, 125, decimal 650, goodbye. Contact radar 200, Well, that was an unusually good view of Bristol Airport from the air, I would have thought. Yeah. That low. Yeah. He was helpful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they did try, and that was good. I mean, there was a bit, you know, they were busy, and that was a bit tricky, but they got me through. Yeah. <laughs> now imagine doing it on your own in the dark with no GPS no decker not much air traffic control flying across the channel and being shot at at any moment <laughs> oh my what God. those boys did is just extraordinary that isn't it First light, that book, it should have been called Diary of a 19-year-old Spitfire Pilot. Because it, that's actually what it is, and it's just... The thing I, I mean, there's lots to love about that book. The thing I love about it the most... I haven't read it for a while. Long time. ...is that no-nonsense sense of crack on, get on with it, get it done. He was a big plane, don't whine. Squadron leader at about 22 or something. Yeah. But then, you know, the, the shooting, the, you know, the, the dog fights and stuff. Ah, oh, this is so good. It's so good to get my head out of workspace and to be flying and to have a mate on board and to have no pressure. I'm having a really fucking good time. Thank you for coming. Everyone, three, two, three, I'm not your friend. Thanks for waiting for that message.
November 1320 Sierra is a Cessna 182 on a VFR flight from Dunkerswell to Sleep. Uh, we are currently 10 miles north of the Old Seven Bridge, requesting basic service. Uh, QH1018. Number uh, 1320 Sierra, I love the information, thank you. Squawk 1177 with Mo Charlie, it's a basic service, and what is going to be your cruising altitude? Squawking 1177 with Charlie, and we are 3,300 feet, QNH 1018. Roger. It is taking a while, it's 100, we've got a 23 knot headwind, so it was quartering headwind anyway. Which is slowing our ground speed down considerably. At 23 miles an hour, I reckon. Uh, that's not. Uh, at 17 percent, not much in it. That's 17 percent. It's not nothing. Well, no, I agree. It turns 21. Oh, October 25. 20, yeah. Well, I think you were surprised by what 50 knots on the water looks like. In our windsurfing video, yeah. it? it it'll hurt. Yeah. It, it can knock you out. No yeah. coming off at that speed. Shelter. No. Okay. There we go. Okay. Can you see if any lights are on that underneath that? I can't see. That's the light, isn't it? The hell, hell. Uh, 
because it's um. Oh, it is gazelle. Yes, so you're right. Thank you. It looked like a bit like a um... impala. <laughs> Very smart landing lights. I don't know who helped to fit those, but they did a lovely job. Look at that. Give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> he's surprised. Oh, I don't know if he's he's, right. Right. Yeah, he's, he's really picking, up, he's he's picking up on your surprise, I think. Glass a lot better than the last time I filled up was two pounds sixty a litre. Here? No, 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 Really? Yeah. Wow. It's it's come down a bit everywhere. That's a cool picture. <laughs> Through here, up the stairs. Thank you. 